Welcome back to one more video related to civil engineering competitive examinations. Actually, I am making this video on request from some of my viewers. In this video, you will learn how to decide size of stiffness matrix before and after imposing the boundary conditions for frames and continuous beam. Such type of questions are very commonly asked in civil engineering competitive examinations and also in interviews. The question which we are going to discuss today was asked in MPSC 2021 main examination which was held on 29th October 2022. In this question it was asked to calculate the size of stiffness matrix before and after imposing the boundary conditions. So let us see how to calculate the size of stiffness matrix before and after imposing the boundary conditions. Consider the frame shown in figure. In this frame there is joint at B and there are three supports at A, C and D. To decide size of stiffness matrix before imposing boundary condition, first of all you have to remove these supports. So the frame will look like this. So if it is plane frame, then count number of endpoints and joints in the frame. We know that at every point there are three unknown displacements that is horizontal displacement, vertical displacement and rotation. So in this frame there are four points A, B, C and D. At every point there are three displacements which are unknown. So 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12. So in this frame the size of stiffness matrix before imposing boundary condition will be 12 by 12. Now let us understand how to decide the size of stiffness matrix after imposing boundary conditions. Imposing boundary condition means assigning the supports to the joints. So in this case there are three supports at A, C and D. To decide the size of stiffness matrix, first of all we have to count the number of unknown displacement at every joint. If we neglect axial deformation, we know that there is one unknown displacement at every hinge support, roller support and at all the joints. At fixed support, number of unknown displacements are zero. And therefore, in this frame, there are two unknown displacements that is theta A and theta B. So here, number of unknown displacements are two and therefore, size of stiffness matrix after imposing boundary conditions is 2 by 2. Therefore, the correct answer for this question is 2. That is the size of stiffness matrix before imposing boundary condition is 12 by 12 and after imposing boundary condition is 2 by 2. Now, I think you will be able to solve such type of question in future. Next, let us understand how to decide the size of stiffness matrix for continuous beam. In this problem, a continuous beam ABCD is given. It is fixed at support A, roller support at B, spring support at C and guided support at D. So first of all, we have to understand what are the number of unknowns at each support. We know that at fixed support, the number of unknowns are zero because there is no displacement possible at fixed end. At roller support, since it is roller, it can have the movement in the direction of roller. In addition to that, there will be rotation. So there are two unknowns at roller support at B. At spring support, there is a displacement in the direction of spring. So there is one unknown at C. At guided support, there is also one unknown at D. Guided support is just like a roller support without any rotational movement. So there is one unknown at guided support. So for this example, the correct answer is 4 by 4. I hope this video will be helpful to you. So stay connected for next video. Thank you for watching.